Yo, yeah, what's good? It's K Fella for K Fella Beats. I'll cut rappers out in that peeped industry .com. Just finished watching my brother Eskimo video. That nigga got me inspired. Goddamn Monopoly man. That goddamn UK accent. Well, yeah, I mean, shout out to my man Eskimo. You know what I mean, definitely got me a little inspired. And he just did. And he just made me want to shoot this video right quick. So, um, Esk, I know you're watching this because I done tagged your monkey ass in it. So, you know what I mean, enjoy. But um, I kind of want to pick up what he was talking about, like talking about your plans and when when your plans go to shit, like what are you gonna do about it? You know what I mean, like the mentality of everything. So, of course, y'all know, because he, you know, made it known, and we've been talking about it for a minute. We got Miami coming up in two weeks. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, the past couple months or whatnot, you know what I mean? I had to make some sacrifices because, you know, just moved to a new crib, um, just had a new baby. You know, my lady been out of work for, like, you know, five months. So, as the man of the house, I had to do what the fuck I had to do. You know what I'm saying? And my finances for Miami ain't where I projected them to be, you know what I'm saying? I said, like, you know, I want to have about this much, go down there and spend or whatever. But, you know, shit didn't work out like that. But, you know, when I look at it and I say, you know, like Eskimo said, what are you going to do when your plan goes to shit? My plan really pretty much went to shit. Like, we two weeks out, you know what I'm saying? And I'm still, you know, sitting here with my lady. We just trying to figure out some things. Like, as far as bills go, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we everyday people. Like, one of my clients hit me up and was like, you know, I want to talk to you just to see if you're the same person, you know, online or offline as you are online. Like, you know, I ain't got no problem sharing what the fuck's going on with me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's just, it's just you know, everyday life, getting caught up in the bills and everything like that and shit. So I sacrificed a lot of money, you know, paying, you know, my bills or whatnot, making sure my kids are straight, you know what I'm saying, and my finances for Miami is kind of fucked, but the way I look at shit, and the way I think, and the way my mentality is set up now, it ain't a motherfucking thing stopping me from going to Miami, dog, like, my lady keeps telling me, you might want to, might want to hold off, you might not want to go, you might, you know what I mean, we got the bills. My sister was just telling me yesterday, you might not want to go. You know what I'm saying? There's always, you know, other trips and all of that. But it's like something, um, we had just went to a, a, a marketing convention for a company or whatever. I'm thinking about joining, but I'll give y'all the, the details of that later on down the line. That's not the purpose of this. But it's like the one of the guys was saying, um, actually shook hands with two people that sold over a million dollars in product had conversations with him. And one thing the dude said, uh, his name was Corey Muhammad, he said, <clears throat> gist of it was, man, look, if you want something, just go for it. You know what I'm saying? There, there is no tomorrow guaranteed. Like, you live in it now. You know what I'm saying? And as it stands, the past is already done for. The past is unchangeable. The present is unchangeable. But the future, you can fix that shit in any fucking format that you want it. You know what I mean? You can make your future whatever. So, how it stands with me, how it stands with the rest of us, Miami is like that, it's like that, that new level for us, you know what I'm saying? And there's no fucking way I'm missing that. I don't give a damn if I go to Miami and I gotta eat fucking Chi-Chi's for a whole week, I don't give a fuck, I'm there. Why? Because ain't nothing stopping me from the, the future that I see, the, the, the amount of success stories that we're going to have from the people that that come in and fuck with us after Miami. See, we've helped a lot of niggas up until this point. A lot of musicians, you know what I'm saying? But after Miami, it's like the level that shit's going to is going to be fucking crazy. And ain't no fucking way I'm missing that. Fuck it. If I got to sacrifice my bills for a month and just be behind, nigga, I'm from the hood, bro. Like, I know what the struggle is. Like, that shit ain't that, man. That shit every day for me. Ain't nothing new. You feel me? But, I do want to say, you know, my baby in there crying, you know, I do want to say, like, for those of you that are on the fence about a lot of shit, like, if you're trying to decide, should I make this move, or, or should I wait, or, or should I wait for the right time, fuck that shit. Do that shit now, man. If you on the fence, do it. Fuck it. You can only do... You can only fail to succeed. 
lady says she wants to join the company, but she's afraid of failing. I said, failure needs to be your best friend. Fail as much and as fast as you can. That's the fastest way to learn. A lot of niggas don't tell you that. A lot of motherfuckers will tell you to have all your ducks in a row, to, to make sure that you got a plan for success. Fuck that shit, man. You want to do something, make that shit happen. Plain and simple. Go for it. Because you only, I mean, you only get one lifetime in this existence. Why not do what the fuck you want to do? I, I wasn't born to pay bills and die, man. I watched my mom do that shit. You know what I'm saying? My mom just turned 66, retired about four years ago with nothing. I'd be dead. It's not happening. No. Mom, I love you to life, but ain't no way I'm following those footsteps. It's not fucking happening. So, moral of the story is, man, go for the fuck. Go for what it is that you want, dog. Whatever it is. I don't give a fuck what it is. Go for it. Do it. If you fail, learn from that mistake. Get the fuck up. Keep going. Eventually, you'll succeed at something. Once you find that level of success, build off of that. Plain and simple. It's K Felon, K Felon Beats. I'm gonna rabbit's on that and I'm out this bitch. About to go chill with my daughter. You ugly motherfuckers. I'm out of here. Deuces.